All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here on Christmas Day. Guys, I want to wish you and your families Merry Christmas if you guys are celebrating today. Hope you have a wonderful, warm day with your family. So guys, today we're checking out the Seiko Marine Master SBBN035 in the Marine Master lineup. This is a really, really killer watch. This is also commonly known as the Ninja uh, Tuna for very obvious reasons. Look at this full blacked out case, the blacked out hardware on the strap assembly. I mean, everything on this watch is blacked out and it looks killer. I really love the way this watch looks. Now, guys, if you're not familiar, the Marine Master Series is really the uh, true saturation diver, professional diver watches that uh, Seiko makes. They're meant for long periods underwater, saturation diving, mixed gas diving. They're really meant to be their professional level watches. Um, most Japanese manufacturers are pretty conservative about the rating, the depth ratings they put on their watches. So even as a saturation diver, Seiko has stuck to 300 meters on this watch, which Believe me, guys, is more than enough uh, depth rating to get the job done as far as a professional dive watch goes. So typical shrouded case in the tuna style. You have a 47 millimeter case from side to side here. Comes in really the same from end to end. I don't want to say lug tip to lug tip because it actually measures shorter to the lugs, which dive down below the case, as you guys can see. So it actually is 45 is what I'm measuring from the lugs to lug. But still, you got the whole case up here. So 47 by 47, not including the crown at the 4 o'clock. The watch is pretty thick coming in at 15, just under 15 millimeters of thickness from the case back to the top of the domed Hardlex crystal. And it's running a 22 millimeter lug opening on this watch if you do decide to do a strap change on this. So classic, classic styling, like I said, in that typical tuna fashion. These watches are available on Amazon. They're available all over out there. This watch came to me by way of CW Watch Shop, guys. I'm going to leave a link down below. I think they still have an automatic version of the Marine Master available at their website. Really killer watch. As a matter of fact, that's been here on the channel. But guys, this is, this is supposed to go back to CW Watch Shop, but I don't think it's going to make it back over there because... Uh, I've really fallen in love with this watch over the last couple of days, and I think it's going to stick with me here, guys. So classic styling on the dial, as you guys would expect from a Seiko Marine Master. Now, I have to ask you to forgive me, guys. This has a domed Hardlex crystal, so it is just picking up reflections all over the place from the room. But you guys can get the gist of it. See those nice, big, heavily applied loom plots on the watch. Definitely stick around for the loom shot. It's pretty impressive. Love that broad arrow Marine Master style hand there. The Seiko is applied just below 12 o'clock. And the indices all the way around on the watch are silver, which I think really adds a lot of neat contrast to the watch. You can see on the date window there at 3 o'clock, this is a Japanese version. So you have the kanji day wheel spinning around there for your day and date functionality. This is from the Seiko 7C46 movement, and it was a really super robust professional grade quartz movement. It's actually a jeweled quartz movement, which is pretty rare. Usually you'll see one, two, three jewels maybe. This is a seven jeweled movement, which makes it a very impressive movement. It's built to last. Five-year battery life on these movements, and they have an accuracy of plus or minus 15 seconds per month, guys. 15 seconds per month. So you're getting an incredibly, incredibly accurate watch with this Seiko movement. You know, people say that the battery life and the fact that you could set it and forget it with a quartz watch was really what made them, uh, you know, super popular. But one of the biggest things was the accuracy. The accuracy of quartz watches, guys, you can't touch. There's not many automatic watches out there that can touch it. The closest I've ever seen, honestly, is the newer in-house movements from Tudor. They really have some incredible uh, timing that they do. The strap on the watch is this newer silicone style rubber strap, as you'd expect, with the nice uh, grippy perforations in the back of it to give a little bit of breathability to it. They've done the, the hardware and everything on this particular watch in black to match that ninja look. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this is, what type of a coating it is. You know, Seiko does everything in-house. They're calling this a a hardened black coating to, to you know to keep the stainless steel in check. Uh, I'm assuming it's some sort of in-house DLC, but really cool. You guys can check out the case back there on the watch. You do get, because this is a quartz watch, you have these locations here where you would actually mark that the battery has been changed, and you can see the killer Kanagawa wave there on the back of the watch. So killer looking piece overall from Seiko Watch. Now this watch is all box papers, everything here, warranty card. But like I said, I'm not sure that it's going to go back over to the CW Watch Shop website. I think it's going to stick around here with OFD. So let's pause it for a second, get this watch on my 7-inch wrist, and then stick around for that loom shot. All right, so here's the watch on my 7-inch wrist. And it, it, they are big, beefy watches, but you can see that because of that 
short case lug to lug. The watches will sit right in the center of your wrist. It's no different than my SNE 498, to be honest with you. They feel, besides the weight, this is much heavier watch because this is all stainless steel construction. The SNE 498 does have a polymer shroud on it, but the size of the watches, you know, altogether is very, very similar besides the different handset and whatnot, but fits really good. I love the shininess on the bezel and switch. I, I didn't turn the bezel for you guys. Very nice crispy bezel, as you'd expect from a Seiko, and everything lines up at this at this price point on the Seiko. And one of the other really cool things, like um, it's kind of hard to tell, but the the pip on the watch um, actually has a hardlex crystal over the the pip there at the twelve o'clock position to protect that pip, and it's probably never going to come out of there and never have a problem because it's got a its own little hardlex crystal over it. So let's dim the lights and check out the incredible loom on this watch. All right, so this is just with the studio lights turned down, and you can see how much glow it took up just from the studio lights. It's one of those watches that you wear outside and it catches a tiny bit of light and you walk into a, a semi-dark room or even daytime, you can see it glowing. It's just really impressive, incredible loom, and it lasts all night long. I, It's a big watch, but guys, I've worn this watch to bed the last two nights, and it it's perfect. I really, really love everything about the watch. Like I said, I don't think it's going to go back to CW Watch Shop. It's going to stay here in the collection. But guys, go ahead and check out the links down below and see what they have to offer over there at the shop. So, all right, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. Like I said, Merry Christmas to you and your families. And if you don't show up back here before it, Happy New Year. And thanks for tuning in, guys. See ya.